All right. Guys, the whole idea behind this lesson today is that we are going to take on some roles. We're doing sort of a role play. Okay? We're mixing game with real life. I'm going to need to do some stuff on the board at some stage. All right? So at some point I'll ask you to turn and look at the screen and you will turn and look up here. Okay? Are you ready? Are we in a church? No? No? All will be explained soon. Okay, can you sit down, please? Okay. Shh. Guys, it's going to be very hard to play the role. I don't want you to get distracted. Okay. So. We are in an underground bunker, okay? The whole idea behind this top secret work, okay? I'm going to introduce you, I'm going to get you to turn to the screen and watch a video. The person on the screen couldn't attend today, but they're going to explain to you what you need to do. Hi there. Welcome to the Gravity Lab. We are in desperate need of your help. We had a group of four scientists researching gravity. They've been working for years and claimed that they had finally found proof that the world of Minecraft is not real. That it does not follow the true laws of gravity. Unfortunately, none of these scientists survived an explosion caused by... Evil Steve. We have this video footage from the scene of the crime. We've pieced together as much of the story as we can. The team of scientists were finalising their report to the Minecraft government. While they were hard at work, evil Steve snuck in and poisoned all of their drinks. We think he meant to steal their research and blackmail the government with it. Once the scientists had finished their report, they went and drank their now poisoned drinks. While they were distracted by the poison coursing through their body, Evil Steve stole all of their research and then set a fire to conceal his crime. Unfortunately for Evil Steve, he did not realise that when he opened the door to sneak in, the breeze blew out the gas fire. The gas must have built up. And when he lit the fire, the whole building exploded, killing all the scientists and Evil Steve as well. All that remains is a burnt out crater. All of the research and findings were destroyed in the explosion. What a waste. This is where you come in. We know you've been training to be a scientist. We need you, now, more than ever. We must know what the scientists found in their research. What proof did they have that the world of Minecraft is not real? Which law of gravity was being broken in our world? The reason we have brought so many of you to do this, quite simply, is because we need to know this before next week. The public is demanding to hear the results of this research within a week, or they're going to start writing. It is of the utmost importance that we maintain order and civilization in our world. We are hoping that if all of you replicate the scientist experiments, perhaps you too will stumble across what the previous group of scientists found. The scientists' experiments are as they left them, and still functional. All you need to do is visit each site and replicate their experiments. You will be assigned partners, and each pair will be given a research journal to record their findings in. All of their experiments seem to be to do with timing how long it takes for various things found in our world to fall from different heights. Here are some diagrams of the experiments the scientists were performing. Unfortunately, we do not have live video footage as the research was top secret. We only have these diagrams. OK, we've given you as much information as we've been able to gather. Please, get in your pairs, head out to the test stations via the teleport blocks, and get to researching. Remember, a good scientist repeats their experiments. We are sure you'll be able to find the answer before Minecraft civilization falls into anarchy. Oh, 
One last thing before you head out, brave scientist. We need you to fill in your research journal in a particular way, just to make it easy when it comes to presenting your findings. Shown here is an example of what we need each page in your journal to look like. Note the three repetitions, and then the average calculation. Remember, to work out the average, you need to add your three times together, and then divide that answer by three. You can leave the blocks per second blank and do those calculations back at the lab. The research is our priority right now. Alright, enough from me. Get out there and save our civilization. Okay, back here please guys. We're not done. Back to the briefing room. Back to the briefing room, thank you. Alright, so I'm about to give you access to your journals. One person per group takes the journal and you can swap roles anytime. All right, all the instructions you need to complete the experiments are out there. Guys, there is a lot of text that you need to read, but you do need to read it, okay? No, you need to write which station? Alright. Research material. So what are you researching with? What are you dropping? Sheep. Okay, then write sheep. Yeah. They need to fill it in as you go, Lockie. So which research station are you at? So you can't you can't go back up to fill it in. Yep. All right. So show me your results. What height were you doing? You need to make sure you record what height you were at. Right. It said that back at the start, what the heights were. Research mat is just what letter was on there, isn't it? No, what material are you using? So what are you researching with? Feathers, all right? All right, don't spam the button. Okay, click it once. So you need to be timing, Sam. I'm going to need to sit here with you and do it. Yep. So that's so. Ah, oh, S. So have you got height in there? Ah, oh, the other thing you need to do is you can't go back up and fill it in. So you need to fill it in as you go. So research, oh, sorry. So which research station are you at? One. One. 